Hey guys, today I just want to show you a new awesome ROM that's out right now for the HTC One X. If you don't like the Sense 4.0 experience you're gonna get with this device, if you want more of the Galaxy Nexus experience with like the stock Android 4.0 feeling, the real ICS feeling, uh, then you might want to go ahead and check out this ROM. It is being called, let's just see here, uh, it is from Exodized, uh, it's, or I mean it is called Exodized. Uh, from JDroid, uh, they have updated it today, uh, and they, it's not completely senseless, but they have remo removed a lot of the sense by using a lot of different ICS themes and mods, so you don't have to tweak that for yourself. If you just want to have a pretty good experience right now with no sense or like a minimal sense right now, you should definitely go ahead and check out this ROM. It's around 350 megabytes right now, and the cool things about it that you're gonna get with this is. First of all, it's based on the HTC 1.26 firmware, that one that still seems to have some problems with the camera, uh, and uh, it is coming with the Android 4.0 uh, IML 74K that I'm currently running on my Galaxy S2. Uh, it is also having some other cool things here. Uh, the Bravi engine that you're gonna get on the Xperia S. Uh, the, it's uh, of course ICS themed here with the Apex launcher. They also have the Android Open Source Dialer, the SMS uh, Latin IME, the YouTube app, also the Android Open Source, blah blah blah. Uh, and the Apex launcher, of course, that's one of the best launchers right now if you like the ICS experience. They've also replaced icons, so they are now blue, and also some ICS icons. They've also removed some apps and added some apps that they felt were necessary. They've also removed the boot animation, I mean, they have made a different boot animation. So let's go ahead and check it out pretty quick here. So as you can see, I'm running here uh, with Apex Launcher. I have the Google search up here. Uh, we can just go ahead and uh, try out the internet, shall we? You can see that it's um, awesome, e even if we are used to it right here in, in the mobile version. If you go ahead and go to the desktop version, it should be able to launch. Okay, my Galaxy Note, it's uh, finished uh, charging and everything. Um, now, you you can excuse me over here um, that I'm running on a pretty poor connection. Uh, but one thing that's very cool here is I hate the Sense 4.0 or I mean, just the Sense uh, keyboard. So the keyboard over here... I mean, it's just a regular keyboard that you're gonna get on the Galaxy Nexus phone. So that's awesome because uh, I definitely do like that more. Uh, you also have the tab experience that's so much better. And this is just the default browser, so I, I like that you get a good default browser over here. Uh, if you just go ahead and see, can, can we get some internet up and running? I'm going to move in May, so I mean I, sh I should have many of these problems fixed because then I will be having a, like a better internet and everything. Uh, but if you just go ahead and go out here, uh, yeah, that's the, how the tab works. Uh, the right button down here works uh, that when you tap on it, you get the Apex settings in over here. Uh, if you hold a long while here in middle, you're going to see all of your recent apps over here that still sense. Um, so I really hope that they remove that as well because uh, I'm a little bit confused. I mean, I think the easier way when you swap, I think that feels easier. I mean, sometimes when I try to swap one, sometimes I just open the app instead, and that's a little bit annoying. Uh, here's how the dialer looks like uh, if you just go ahead and go over here oh no call, call. um <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and go back. Um, here is exactly how all your apps and everything looks like. Um, uh, downloaded, widgets and everything. Uh, use the Apex Launcher. If you just go ahead and do it like this, you can still see it's a little bit sense here. Uh, if you go ahead and go to the settings, it definitely looks like sense. It's still, go down to about, uh, if you go down to hardware... Yeah, you all learn the hardware, but the software information, here we go, Exodized uh, 1.6.4 Stable, it is the latest one from yesterday, um, so really do hope that he updates it more, remove more sense in the future, uh, if you want to go ahead and check it out, I'm going to have a link to it in the description below, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, is there anything special you want to see with this ROM, do you want to compare it against the Galaxy S2, so because I'm also running an IML 74K, uh, over there. Uh, yeah, just a very quick look here. I'm not quite sure what I should show you. Maybe the camera app also. Uh, and I could also show you the gallery over here if you just go ahead and go down. Um, I think this is the ICS gallery as well. Um, how it looks like and stuff. If you just go ahead and go back. Um, the camera app um, still kind of looks the same. Um, 
go. Can we record something? Let's record my hand. Oh, awesome. That's so sexy. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's, let's focus on that. Oh, and let's take a picture while we're recording. Okay, there we go. Um, everything like that works. Um, I still feel like it's some bugs over here. Uh, when I tried to open up the gallery once, it didn't really work. Oh well, doesn't work right now for me. Uh, but if you're desperate right now and if you can't handle some bugs, you should definitely go ahead and check it out right now. As I said, link to it in the description below. Awesome for you sense haters. Uh, I hate a little bit. Uh, I think this is more of a sexy feel. Yeah, and uh, oh yeah, let's also go ahead and take a quick, quick look at um, uh, the new... Oh yeah, there we go. Exactly how it looks over here. Um, they've changed some things. Over here, some more quick access to some things. Uh, also, if you if you want to go ahead and do this, you need to first go ahead and root your device, in install Clockwork Mode and stuff like that, unlock the bootloader. I already made videos on how you can go ahead and uh, how to root your HTC One X. Just type in Google how to root HTC One X. You should see my video over there. If we go ahead and see, there we go. You can see the new um, new uh, new boot screen and down animation that they're using over there if you can just go ahead and turn it on as well so we can go ahead and check it out pretty quick oh yeah that's gonna be good oh yeah oh yeah uh -uh. oh shit shut the f up there we go okay as you see that that's not the default one um, default one is in white uh, beats audio yeah oh yeah there we go i did forget to show you that but that's also pretty sexy to getting that one instant access to the camera uh one thing that i noticed is when you go instant access to the camera like that you are only going to get the camera mode okay you're not going to get the video mode not quite sure what works like that but uh, I think this feels like a pretty solid ROM uh, at the moment even though uh, they've just started out and everything I think it looks sexy as hell and even if you can go ahead and put on your own ICS themes here now you also get the blue icons and everything and it feels uh, feels pretty awesome and after they have sorted out some more bugs I think it could be really sexy and even more awesome so um, Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other ROM that you want me to go ahead and check out, please let me know in a comment below. And you just have an awesome day. Bye-bye.